Okay, I'm logged in as a student and I'm trying to activate a Unity license. Now, it does a bit different for me because I have to get my password elsewhere. But when you go to activate your license, you see manual activation and save the file. Now, I want to save the, Uni the Unity license file onto my computer. So I'm going to C drive and I'm making a folder called Unity. You can do this because I'm logged in as a student. And in that folder called Unity, I'm saving my license file. Great. Next thing I need to do is click on the uh, manual activation link that opens in Internet Explorer. That's okay. That's fine. It will work for us. Um, now, it's going to pop up and say you need to be signed in. That's what this is saying. You need to sign into your Unity account. That's fine. Sign in with your Unity account. If you have to make an, if you have to make a Unity ID, create one. That's fine. Um, I have a Unity ID. My password is stored in uh, LastPass, so this is about to jump. Um, because I had to go to LastPass to get my Unity license file, but uh, so my Unity password because I don't know my Unity password, I don't need to know it. So here we go. I'm logging into LastPass to get my Unity password. You don't need to do this. I do because I store passwords in LastPass. Anyway, that's fine. Um, we're about to get a jump cut. There it is. I now have my LastPass password, so I can paste that. There we go, and now um, I'm signed into Unity. There we go. So I'm signed into Unity, and it's now prompting me to do other stuff. Let's see what it says. It says check for license files. So we're going to browse for the license file that we just saved. So that's in C Drive Unity. Remember, you can make that folder. So I'm going to upload. Try again. Try Unity this time. Upload that file. Next. We're using it for personal uh, edition and we're using it because we're in no professional capacity. Download the license file and it's going to save to the, so we want to save it to the same place, to that C drive Unity. That way it's consistent on all computers. Done. We can close that. We're out of there. And now we can go next. Look for our license file. It's the longer one. Confirm, and it's going to throw a message at you saying, "Yes, okay, this is this computer is now licensed, but you need to be logged into your Unity account in Unity Hub to manage your license file." That's fine, just do it. Sign in with your, your with your Unity account. So once again, I know my Unity uh, account details and my password is already stored. Sign in, and that's it. We're cooking with gas. So that's how you can license Unity. People in um, with Amy Lee will need to do that. I think you people in my classroom should be set to go, but just in case. Thank you very much. Good luck.